Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. We got part two of my Raiders. I don't know if it's Oakland still or Las Vegas or whatever they're calling themselves right now, but this playbook is fire. I know that. Uh, this is probably my new book. This is probably the book that I'm going to be using pretty exclusively for a couple of months because I think I'm to the point where I'm just I'm just getting too set in my ways with the Saints. It's a great playbook. It's still a great playbook. You guys can get the ebook. It's it's definitely my best playbook. It's flushed out. Crazy flushed out. I, I've maxed that playbook out probably to its most potential. But it's to the point where I want a new challenge. I don't like when I get to a point where I'm just doing stuff. Like, I just get into a rhythm too much. And I just keep doing the same thing over and over. So I wanted something new. And I went back to the Raiders because um, I just put out a really great formation out of the Raiders, out of the iPhone wing. And I also did one, a really great running formation out of the pistol earlier in the year. So check the Raiders playlist for all that. I'll try to pop links for the for part one that I put out of this particular formation and also the, the weak wing. Hopefully those will be popping up now. But either way, this is definitely, at the moment, my favorite playbook. Unless you guys want to give me a good suggestion. Otherwise, probably not going to be the Jets. I got a lot of people saying the Jets, but they're too close to the Saints. So other than that, let's go ahead and let's get into part two of the, I was saying the weak wing. I got I got formations for days out of this already. And I only use it for one weekend league, but it's already got hella, hella plays. So let's go ahead and let's get back into the gun tight slot open part two the first one make sure you watch that the pa reads and one play touchdown against cover three and cover four hopefully i'll pop the link up now and i also had a really explosive run play the halfback sweep uh setup on those are crazy easy and they're really effective so check that out but part two i'm going to show what might be an even better run play we're going to find out it's the halfback quick base very similar setup if you didn't see part one i'll go through this quick uh, but this is a really good setup so let's go ahead, let's pick that we'll keep going against uh, random nickel because that's the matching formation so we're going to pick that Something I've done pretty much in all of these plays so that, you know, you guys know I uniform my plays if you watch my videos. I make sure that they all look the same so your opponent doesn't, it's not a tell, so your opponent doesn't know what's going on. But I'm going to motion this guy over just like I did in the first couple of plays. I'm going to hike him right when he gets behind that left tackle. And you're going to see how, look at that, man, running room for days. Running room for days, baby, and I couldn't get going. That son of a bitch. A couple of good runs here. We're going to go ahead and we'll move on. Like I said, very similar to the last video getting some man coverage though i don't know if i should be doing this against man coverage but you can see how if i just get that edge i don't know how he sucks and blocked me there it's a much better defense than the running back i'm using which is why but uh, still a good carry so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna run a couple times i really kind of want to wait till he gets a little bit further past 72 because i want him to set that edge and get on that corner like he did there i'm not really getting like i said the sweep play held the blocks longer and i was getting further away but yeah just make sure you watch that first video mix in the sweep with this play and you're just gonna be you're gonna be dynamite. You're gonna be you're gonna be you know hitting home runs left and right. And I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna make a dude miss. They make two dudes miss there with that nasty spin move. And we're just getting yards, man. This is working out fine. So let's go ahead and let's run this one more time. I'd like to get a big play if I could. If I can't, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move on after this carry. Uh, as you can see, sometimes the hole opens up right in the middle. Well, you gotta hold that block, 89. I could have been gone. That was like a horrible job. So that's, <laughs> that's quite a bit. So if you guys want to see uh, more Raiders, hit the like button. I definitely have. Um, I have some out of the trio offset here that is a really good formation. Um, I really have to go through. I mean, I have so many good plays out of this. Uh, I guess the trade wide flex I have. I know I have one out of the, the strong wing I'll probably do next uh, because that one was, was, just, was just crazy. Somebody ran against me to the point where I had to figure it out. Good plays out of the wing slot. Um, a lot of good stuff out of the single back. So, uh, you know, hit the like button. I got a lot of plays out of this. If you guys want to see a, a full breakdown ebook, let me know too. So let's go ahead and let's finish up with, uh, I'm going to say the bench switch. I already did the bench. Uh, I might do the Aggie too, but let's go ahead and let's go with the bench switch quick. A couple different ways to run this. Keep going random nickel. Uh, this particular play here is good just like this. You have two of the better concepts in the game in the same play. You got the, the bench switch on one side and then you got the... Um, uh, the corner strike and the other. So you really have your choice. I'm going to go to move to the middle because obviously I want options for both and I'm going to have a lot less doing it from the side. I wouldn't really be able to throw it to the uh, the corner strike. But real simple, if it's a man coverage, the corner strike, Crabtree's really good. Um, if it's a zone coverage, you probably want to go Cook and Cooper side. Uh, we'll go ahead and run this a couple times. Uh, you can see there, I'll take the uh, the short route. I don't know what that was though, to be honest with you. I'm not sure if that was a man or not. So I was going to run this a couple times. I want to put Washington here though on a pass block. I want my time. I don't really want to deal with that. So we're gonna. It looks like we have what's probably a. I don't know what that was. It looked like a cover two. I had to wait a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of C route because of that. Yeah, I like to put Cook on a streak sometimes. It's a pretty good play. 
Um, if you really want to get fancy, uh, motioning out uh, Washington here and then putting him on a flat route will complete a cover two concept with Cooper too. But then you don't have the pass blocking the same way you did. And you can see how Cooks just right open up that scene. I haven't done a lot with motioning out Washington. You can do whatever you want with him because in this in this particular play, if I motion him the other way, uh, he's a really good drag coming back across of what Cook is doing because um, you can see how that draws all the coverage back and he just gets a nice open catch and run. If I could have made that dude miss, it would have been a big play. So Washington's a really good option if you want to put him out. Um, you could also leave him back to block and then you could always put Roberts on that same drag. Um, I don't know if I can motion him in without motioning him all the way over, though. It would have been nice um, to motion him just halfway, but either way. So that's that's an option for you. Um, here we can do the same thing with the uh, with the cover two concept if you want to. Uh, as you can see here, he's just wide open in the flat. I mean, that's, you know, you can make a living off of that. This is a really good formation. I haven't even tapped all of its potential yet. But yeah, motioning over Roberts here is also, um, if I put him on a uh, flat route and then put Cook on a streak, it has the same uh, effect a lot of times that um, I put out a play that I use quite a bit out of that where basically he'll get open like right away. Oh my goodness, that was a tight window, man. I should have bulleted that. Nice nice throw though. But yeah, this is a really good formation. I'm going to be doing a lot more labbing with it um, now that I, you know, I just want to get this out for you guys because obviously, you know, I feel like the uh, the Saints playbook, a lot of people see that stuff coming now because it's, it's like the most popular. I, I've made it one of the most popular books online. So it runs a couple different times. Okay, I think I'll go ahead and I'll put the running back to the side. Like I said, there's so many different things you can do with this particular play. Um, even this is good. I mean, you still have that bench switch, and then you get that cover three beater. And we can float up over. Why couldn't you catch and run, man? You even got a linebacker on you. Look at that. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to rock this one more time. This looks like I'm going to definitely have um, the X route open now, which is what I want, because that's a nice, easy route. Look at that. Look how much space he has, man. That's just like... That's just glitchy as hell. That's one of my favorite concepts right there. That's just guaranteed yards. Guarantee. So we're going to keep doing this. I, I love that. Uh, if you really want to keep the uh, corner strike concept going, you can do this. Not that. You can do this with uh, Crabtree. It'll still pull coverage down. <laughs> so you really have your options there. Oh, as a man. Carr, you are just almost messing up. Get that ball there, bro. Get that ball where it needs to go, bruh. So I'll keep trying to do this corner strike with the running back like this. But look at that. That's just glitchy as hell, man. Look at that. He's got like 10 yards of separation. It's crazy. Yeah, another thing you can do is motion out Cooper here. If it's a cover three, uh, this route's kind of glitchy. Um, like I'll go ahead and I'll show you there. See how he turns his back? If you just throw when he makes that break, it's also a really good uh, play. Um, I don't know what you could do with all the... Um, you know all your all your check down options stuff like that this looks like a man maybe i'm not even sure but either way man or uh cover three look how he just watches him catch the ball like he does nothing <laughs> and that's one of the best corners in the game cooper's a great receiver and all that too this looks like a cover two uh, this won't work against cover two uh but cooper like i said cooper's a great um actually i don't know what that was it still worked <laughs> cooper's a great receiver but that's like i said that's kind of glitchy any any corner uh, in the game will get roasted like this as you can see I'm going against some of the best cornerbacks in the game so uh, but like I said if this is a cover two that's a man coverage so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in break he just didn't catch it there but he, he was open a really simple concept there uh, using that motion uh, I think on the next play though I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to pick uh, the bench this play right here obviously uh, is a pretty well-known play but I'm gonna make some adjustments that aren't typical so let's go ahead and let's pick that and we'll go random nickel all right, so real simple. All I'm really going to do here is motion over Roberts. If you're doing the run plays, um, you know, that I showed in this video and the previous video, you could always motion this guy over to kind of mix it together so that your opponent doesn't, it's not a tell, basically, uh, which is typically why I like to try to, um, you know, mirror mirror every play. But it, it'll, it won't be a huge issue. But either way, this looks like a cover two, which is the point. That's kind of what I want. I want this to be a cover two so I can hit the uh, the X route right at the middle seam here, uh, which actually was a man coverage. So I, I took the outside route. Man coverage is you typically want to go with the tight end. I would have waited a little bit, um, but the pressure was there. So it was obviously a heavy man blitz. Uh, but either way, cover two, you typically want to go right up the center scene with Roberts. Uh, man coverage, you would typically want to go outside uh, with Cook. And uh, cover three, I can't say there's a great cover three beater here, um, but uh, Cooper might be the best way to go on the check down. I haven't really, haven't really managed this particular play towards a cover three. So we're going right up that cover two scene, like I was saying, with Roberts. Right up the center there. <coughs> I'm not sure if Cook 
is a great cover three play or not. But I would say putting Cooper on a slant going back the other way is also a pretty good play. Um, in this scenario, you might want to like drag Crabtree. Um, but obviously, these type of these routes are all going to work against one another now. So here we go. I don't know what that was, but I just <laughs> we had a lot of openings, but I know it was a blitz. Yeah, I don't know if they heard Derek Carr's ratings this year, but he's not uh, been as good. He's not really a great QB uh, in this version. I don't know. Maybe he hasn't played very well this year. But, uh, but we'll run it runs a couple times. Looks like cover two once again, unless it's a man. So we're going to probably go X right at the center. As you can see, I safe caught. I probably could have caught and run that, but cover two man. So we're going to run this a couple different times. Like I said, Crabtree and, and Cooper are really, you know, you can do any combination of things you want with those guys. Looks like another man coverage. So I'm going to actually go out to the triangle route. I'm going to loft it up here, and we're going to get going. As you can see, you know, anytime you catch a tight end covered by a linebacker, it's typically a win for the tight end. Got pretty adequate blocking uh, with, uh, with the running back pretty much always being designed in the backfield. So we'll run it like this one time. Pretty much every time, Cooper and uh, and Crabtree, which are my best receivers. I really should switch that up. Have my best receivers running the, the important routes. But basically, I'm always having them in a combination of a slant and an out route, whether it's that way or it's this way. I just don't put them on a zig. Zig's fine too, but it's typically uh, that's the combination because they kind of work off each other pretty well. Um, it's typically where I have, as you can see here. I'll go ahead and I'll put I'll throw it to Cooper that time. But those are the um, those are the best ways to do it, as far as your checkdowns go. They just work off each other well. So let's go ahead and let's try to hit one more big play. This looks like a cover two again. Not really sure though, but you can see. Look at the space. You know what I mean? There's just so much space. Like the whenever you have so many routes clustered together like that, it's just it, the computer just has a hard time figuring out what it is early, and they just kind of like stay back so they don't get beat. And then you can see how. Um, I just totally motion the wrong guy. Then you can see how, <laughs> then you can see how uh, we have openings. Can I reset the play? Thank you. So yeah, I'm definitely uh, flubbing it up right now because I'm talking too much. So let's go ahead and let's run this one more time. I did get one touchdown. Not that this play is really meant to be, you know, a huge one play touchdown play or like that like previous plays, but um, it's definitely a good play. So we're going to do this one more time. Look at that X route, man. He's just like wide open. And you can see that uh, the, it's really tight window because it gets, it's not tight window because the coverage is tight window because a lot of times he almost looks like he's going to run in the cook, uh, but that's it. So we're going to move on to the next play. So that's it. If you guys want to see more Raiders, hit the like button. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Moist it out.